Hello everybody, welcome to this much-awaited vlog entitled Sugar Fruit for K-Pop. And if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and click the like button as well as the notification button next to the subscribe button. And in this vlog, we will be talking about one of the greatest figures in the music industry, Jonathan Sugarfoot Moffat. Jonathan Sugarfoot Moffat. Jonathan Moffat, known professionally as Sugarfoot, is a musician, songwriter, singer, and producer who has been the late Michael Jackson's longtime drummer. They were also close friends to one another and consider each other as brothers and part of their families. He also drummed with MJ's brothers, Janet Jackson, Madonna, Elton John, Diana Ross, Stevie Wonder, Prince, Babyface, Barry Manilow, Cameo, George Michael, Wham, Lionel Richie, Richard Marks, Peter Cetera, Timothy B. Schmidt, and more. Although he was a regular drummer for Michael Jackson, he wasn't on two of his tours as they had scheduling conflicts. The 1987 to 1989 Bad Tour was in conflict with Madonna's Who's That Girl Tour and Elton John's Red Strikes Back and Sleeping With The Past Tours, while the 1992 to 1993 Dangerous Tour was in conflict with Madonna's Blonde Ambition Tour. So, a friend of his, the late Ricky Lawson, stepped up to his place for those tours. We have something in common, learning drums on our own or by ear and by music, and we never learned how to read drum notes, just like Phil Collins. But on my side, I had a few drum lessons alongside piano lessons back in the summer of 2004, and as soon as I returned to Oman from the Philippines, I learned drums on my own by ear and listening to music in order to figure out the beats while I read notes for piano or keyboard. Moffat got the name Sugarfoot because of his quick, articulate, and pronounced bass drum work, which requires a lot of precision and stamina for drummer. And the best in him is his kung fu styled one handed cymbal catch and his backlash whiplash cymbal crashes, single or double hand where he places two cymbals behind him and hits or chokes them without even looking. How cool is that? Now we are going to talk about why he should be a guest drummer for K-pop idols and groups. The way he plays the grooves energetically and fluidly within rhythms and all of the styles he did during his tenure with Michael Jackson and his brothers are very suited for K-pop. And if any idol is out there watching this vid, let me let you know. When Sugarfoot plays, you'd really get up and dance. And watch this video of Michael Jackson's This Is It music director, Mike Berdin, and you will see why. He told me, when Foot plays, I feel like dancing. I said, that's your drummer. During my 2018 summer holidays in the United States, I was getting introduced by a friend to the next generation of K-pop like Momoland, Twice, and more. I brought up the topic on Sugarfoot himself and how his drumming suits K-pop. And that friend was amazed on Sugarfoot's skills, so I commented this on the Dromeo page which posted Jonathan Moffat's drumming. As a multi-instrumentalist, 
plays drums, guitar, piano, keys, synth, and singer-songwriter commenting. Jonathan Moffat was the great choice for Michael Jackson and Madonna as a drummer and musician. His playing can also suit K-pop idols like Super Junior, Shiny, Girls' Generation, SNSD, BTS, FX, EXO, Momoland, Twice, Red Velvet, Psy, Blackpink, and others. Then another Facebook user named Chi Yin Wong commented or replied saying, Whenever I listen to K-pop, I always feel whoever produced the music in most songs actually knows how to write drum music or can play drums. Certain ways the beat is written, the instrumentation and the way certain feels are written would mainly be thought of by a drummer, unlike the cliche build-ups you have in Western EDM music. Also agreed, Jonathan Moffat is defo suited to play K-pop or any groove style piece. I am glad someone agreed to what I said. And sure enough, Jonathan Moffat liked both of our comments. To those who followed me on Instagram, remember that teaser that I posted? Well, Sugarfoot liked it and he also got to follow me. So thank you so much, Sugarfoot, for appreciating the work that I did. Super Junior, if you're watching or listening right now, heed my advice. If you get Jonathan Moffat as your drummer and he plays, you'd surely be feeling like dancing and you'd surely dance well. You can see that the elements in Michael Jackson's songs can be applied in K-pop and that Jonathan Moffat himself is suited to play that genre. So heed my advice before it's too late. Now, let me present which K-pop celebrities, groups, and idols should get Sugarfoot as a guest drummer. Should they ever play in the USA or can fly him to South Korea to get him introduced to the country's pop culture? Here they are. Number 1. Super Junior Songs that are good with Moffat as a guest are Supergirl, Mr. Simple, Sorry Sorry, Shake It Up, and what else? Now this boy band from SM Entertainment has three drummers taking turns on the drum kit. Lituk, Unyuk, and Hichu. They can even do a drum battle with Sugarfoot or each one takes turns on the kit playing alongside him. But when these three guys are out front with the other guys in Super Junior, then Jonathan Moffat himself drums for them. Oh, and for the rock version of the song You, then the This Is It band will fill in the role of backing them up and the lead guitar parts can be done by singer, songwriter, and guitarist Orianti Panagaris, and of course, the guest named Slash. Number two, Girls' Generation. Sugarfoot himself can enhance the drumming of the songs Tell Me Your Wish, Hood, Dancing Queen, Mr. Taxi, The Boys, Mr. Mr., Flower Power, Party, and more. Plus, he could even add the Michael Jackson magic on those. That sounds fun, right? Number three, Shiny. Well, I didn't know but it seems like the song Ring Ding Dong can have those back cymbal chokes on the fills. What songs of Shiny do you think Jonathan Moffat can enhance by his drumming? You put that in the comment. Number 4, BTS. This group has their own drummer, Big Music Khan. But if Jonathan Moffat is playing with BTS, then the BTS vibe mixed with some Michael Jackson and Sugarfoot magic will make fans extremely happy. And sure enough, Jonathan Moffat is definitely suited to play BTS songs. Number 5. Momoland. Remember the songs that made him popular worldwide? Boom Boom and Bam? Well, I guess Jonathan Moffat himself can give a good drumming for those songs. But he can also enhance the beat in Freeze, Jang Kung Kwang, I like it, thumbs up, welcome to Mama Land. But wait, remember the group's energetic colored hair member, Lee Ju Won, aka Jui? She'd give a good, exciting, energetic performance when Jonathan Moffat plays. So, Jui, if you're watching this, take note. You'd really dance with energy when Jonathan Moffat plays. Number six, Red Velvet. They got good catchy songs to perform, but also, let me state which songs can do well with Jonathan Moffat playing drums on. Oompa Oompa, 
red flavor, ice cream cake, what else? Put your answer in the comments. Number 7, TWICE. They got some catchy songs too. The best songs that would have a better sound with Jonathan Moffat's enhancements are TT, Signal, Heart Shaker, Dance the Night Away, Feel Special, Fancy, and what else? Again, give your answer below in the comments. Number 8, Itzy. Icy and Wannabe are the best songs and would sound better with Jonathan Moffat. But let me know which Itzy song do you think sounds better if Jonathan Moffat drums on them. Number 9, Blackpink. Bumbaya, as if it's your last. Do 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 do. Playing with fire. Whistle. Those songs would sound great with Jonathan Moffat on the drums and being their guest drummer. Number 10, Big Bang. Another artist from YG Entertainment. And their song Fantastic Baby is really cool if there's a lot of drumming, especially if Sugarfoot plays drums on that song. He could add a bit of Michael Jackson magic in it, then it would be fun, right? Number 11, IU. Lee ji who is known as IU, has got some catchy songs on her list. If her regular drummer Kim Sung Ho, aka Jim, and percussionist Cho J. Bom, aka Joe, are not available, then we can have Sugarfoot and Bashiri Johnson or Lenny Castro in their respective places. And if IU's backing band is not available, then we can have the This Is It band in their place. That's possible if she goes to the US and Canada. Oh, and I'm not hating those guys in IU's band, but I'm certain that they look up to them too and have great respect for them. Number 12, GOT7. Remember the music video of the song that featured the Taxi Taxi member of TWICE? That song should do good with Jonathan Moffat's drumming. Number 13, FX. Electric Shock has a good groove and if Sugarfoot does it, it would be cool. I also drummed to that alongside Mr. Taxi on one of the drum kits in the Sam Ash store in Hollywood, California during my two-day stay in Hollywood during the summer of 2014. The Sam Ash store there allows you to try any instrument you like, but dad even had to stop me from playing the other parts or any other song because he feared the drum kit might get wrecked. Someone there challenged me to a drum duo in the store with the same song but dad said no again because the kits might get wrecked. The failure caused me to binge on Costco's famous Kirkland soft baked chocolate chip cookies and fresh milk the next day when we returned to Riverside from Hollywood. Going as far as five cookies, but thankfully I got caught by my dad and he told me to eat only two since it was full of sugar and that the next day a relative of ours and her son would treat us at Farrell's ice cream with a good hot lunch at a Japanese restaurant first despite my suggestion of Korean food. Number 14, Psy. Remember Gangnam Style and Gentleman? But the other hit single, Daddy, will do great with Sugarfoot on the groove. Number 15, Everglow. Done Done is one of the best songs that could sound great when Sugarfoot is grooving on it. Other groups include 2PM, 17, John Sami, and who else? For Blackpink and Big Bang, those two groups have the all-African-American band, the Band 6, as their backing band, and Benny Rogers II is their drummer. But in case the members of the Band 6 are not available, then they'd better get the This Is It band of the late Michael Jackson. In fact, all of those groups I mentioned above should indeed get the This Is It band to be their guests because the members play great and their playing suits the genre. For our Korean viewers who don't know the This Is It band, it consists of the following. Mike Bearden, keyboards, musical director, Jonathan Sugarfoot Moffat, drums, Bashiri Johnson, percussions, Mo Pleasure, keyboards. Alex Al, bass, keyboard bass, Orianti Panagaris, lead and rhythm guitar, backing vocals, Tommy Organ, rhythm and lead guitar, Judith Hill, Darian Holly, Ken Stacy, Daryl Finnessy, backing vocals, Slash, guest lead guitarist. For substitutes, Greg Fillingains could do the musical director role if Bearden is not available, and Don Boyette will do the bass if Alex Al is not available. 
Well, I think that's all I have to say, and this is the end of the vlog. But before we end, here is a three-question quiz. What Michael Jackson tours was Jonathan Moffat unable to play on? What previous girl group was Momoland's Maknae on? And who's the regular drummer of Elton John? Those who answer correctly will be given a shout out at the next video and a teaser as well as a hint on my next vlog. Send your answer in the comments or best on private message. And by the way, I have opened a Patreon and a PayPal account. So in case you want to donate or support me, click the links below in the description. Thank you all for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the like button on this video and click the subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you all once more and I hope to see you again in our next vlog. And I'm not playing drums, I'm playing music. Remember that.